Hello, Gemini. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your general monthly reading. It'll be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Just keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Geminis? Messages for Gemini, please. Time is fluid, so this situation could have already happening, could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. And roles can be reversed, so feel free to flip the roles I'll be talking about. I can be talking about you or the other person. So just keep that in mind as well. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or commented to my channel recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. I might not be able to get to all of them, but I do read them. So thank you so much to those of you who have shared your stories and just leave such sweet comments. Thank you so much. Let's see what we have, Gemini. Wow, coming apart and coming to life. What a beautiful energy. I mean, it's very, how do I say it? It's very contradicting. It feels like at first, but it actually makes sense to me. Something has to come apart for something to come to life. Interesting. What else, Spirit? What else do you have for Gemini? What else do you have? Okay. Details, details. And then right in that magnifying glass. Clarity. Some of you are seeing a situation with the new set of eyes. Is what I'm getting there. Some of you are, there is some sort of separation that has happened or is currently happening. Um, but I feel like this has brought you to life or brought to life a dream, an idea. Spirit, please tell me more for Gemini. Is Gemini need to know spirit? Oh my, what is going on? Hold on, guys. All right, I'm gonna keep the ones I flipped over. Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, hmm, Eight of Wands are in the deck here. Interesting. Communication from the past. Tell me more for Gemini. Either communication from the past, devil came out, sign of Capricorn, or some of you are dealing with some sort of soulmate type connection, past life connection. Tell me more. I feel like with the devil, I'm thinking unhealthy attachment here. Wow. Death, sign of Scorpio, wheel of fortune and hierophant. We got uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio so far. With the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like something is changing. Divine timing here. Um, but the wheel is turning in your favor for something. I feel like it has to do with this message. The Knight of Swords. Clarity is what I'm getting here. The Hierophant and Six of Cups. Interesting. I'm thinking commitment, order, marriage. Interesting. Something's ending though. That's why that's why I'm being thrown. I, I feel like something is ending here. A transformation is taking place. So why am I seeing commitment already? Some of you and did something with the idea of getting together with someone else or vice versa. Some of you put an end to an unhealthy attachment and it's brought you, it's like once you finish this, once you finish this relationship coming apart or this union or whatever, it brought you to life with another relationship. Damn, that's crazy. Tell me if this is resonating in the comments. Let's see. What else for Gemini? 
Ten of Wands. Yeah, something is something is ending here for sure. Anything else for Gemini, please? What else does Gemini need to know, Spirit? Okay, Nine of Wands. Yeah. Okay. Nine of Cups under the deck. Another nine. I'm just gonna get right into clarifying because I am curious AF. I'm just so thrown by this reading. There is definitely an ending taking place. Spirit, please tell me what is going on with this reading for Gemini. Something is coming apart. Either your relationship or this other person. Messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know? Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Thank you. Yeah, someone wants to start something new here. They're rushing in with a message. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups about? Hierophant. No, not Hierophant. High Priestess. But Hierophant and High Priestess are together. They're a pair. She's like the female Hierophant. Interesting. High Priestess. High Priestess is all about intuition, the unknown, mysteries, looking past the surface of things with the details here. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Seven of Swords. Someone has been sneaking around behind your back, but I, I'm not getting a negative energy. Almost like they've been spying on you behind your back. Page of Wands, yeah. Anything else for this High Priestess and Seven of Swords? Strategizing here. But you don't know about it. This is all happening behind the scenes, Gemini. Five of Pentacles, what? Wow. Okay. Sorry, that just hit me. Some of you shut this person out or vice versa. I'm getting... I'm getting struggle. Almost like you struggled being apart. Why am I getting that? Yeah, I feel like some of you have not... It's almost like your relationship has been cold, stagnant. The opposite of coming to life, right? Cold, like a, like a, like a, like a winter. And then there's, you know, once there's spring, things come back to life. I feel like someone here is not being clear or expressing how they truly feel about this connection. It's almost like they're sneaking around. I'm surprised Page of Swords hasn't come out because that's the energy I'm feeling. Someone's been sneaking around, watching each other secretly, but the it's like each, like uh, one person, they're both watching each other, but neither of them know that they're watching each other. <laughs> it makes sense to me, okay? <laughs> Tell me about the devil for Gemini. What's this devil about? For Gemini? Whoa. That is way too many. I would love to take that for once, but that is way too many, guys. Let's see if it comes back out. Tell me about the devil for Gemini. This is an unhealthy attachment here, feeling trapped, stuck, stuck, or it could be an obsession, lust, temptation as well. It all depends on like the card surrounding it. Also a sign of Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Come with Capricorn in their chart. Justice. Making a situation right here. Balancing the scales. A final decision. Someone has been trapped in a legal situation is also what I'm getting. Holy crap. We got the Chariot and Six of Swords. 
sign of cancer. We have a lot of people on this table. It's almost like it is like a legal situation. They're stuck in some sort of decision mode, action mode here. Like they, they need to act. They know need, they need to act. Um, and they want to move forward with the Six of Cups with this connection for sure is what I'm getting. Tell me about death. And it's like the, there's been a transformation. And Gemini, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with, um, like I was saying, hold on. Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Taurus. Did I say Pisces? What did I say Pisces? Um, Death and Eight of Pentacles. Some sort of transformation. Um, someone's been working on themselves. Tell me more about death. Another eight. Hangman. Yeah. Someone is stuck right now, but but they, they're still going to walk away. It's like whatever's going to wrap up needs to be wrapped up. They're stuck in the details here. It's details in a legal batter, battle or, or some sort of decision. They're looking at the details of it before they make a move. But they're going to make a move with eight of cups and the chariot. So maybe you could be living at a distance from each other. Fool under the deck. So definitely they're walking towards something new. They're leaving something behind. This could be you or the other person. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. For Gemini. Once the wheel turns, nothing is the same again. So something is definitely changing for you, Gemini. Either you or this other person. Wow, the higher font again. Why the higher font twice? Oh my god, Wheel of Fortune wanted to pop out. Did you see that? Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me more about the higher font. Spirit, why is the higher font here? Thank you. King of Wands, Nine of Swords. Doubt, regret, guilt, worry. This person wants to take action, but they're in their head about this. They they want commitment. They want to do things right. They I feel like this person has a lot of values. Maybe religious morals or something like that. Traditional. This person's like traditional and they want to do things right here. Hmm. But I have two of pentacles and four of cups on the deck. So there's like doubt here. Indecision. Tell me more about this higher font here. more about this higher font for Gemini, please. Nine of Cups. This person definitely wants commitment here. Marriage, almost. But look at this. Yeah, they want to make an offer of love here with the Knight of Cups. But they're in their head. They're like, they have to let go of a burden first. They're stuck. These are the cards for stuck here. We got the devil, which to me is like mental entrapment and entrapment in general. But mostly it's a it's a, an entrapment of like dis, of um, emotions, feeling stuck, but having the weights to get out. So sometimes it could be like a being trapped in an addiction or being trapped in in um, unhealthy attachment. So here I have the hangman. I have. The Eight of Swords. What else did I have here? Yeah, and they have the Nine of Wands. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting this person Ten of Wands twice, by the way. I'm getting this person's like busy doing something, wrapping something up. That's what I'm getting. And in the meantime, they're really overthinking this, but I feel like they're still going to go for it. Like they don't, they, they're, they're, it's not going to stop them from bringing this to life. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. I feel like I had a very similar reading. Thank you. There's the Four of Cups. Someone doesn't want to miss an opportunity is what I'm getting too. It's like, I need to hurry up and let go of this burden. 
so I can rush in and make my offer. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. There's other cards that fell out, but they're um, they're upside down, so I'm not going to take them. There's the Four of Wands under the deck. I knew it was going to come out again. Tell me about this Ten. Nope, Nine of Wands. This person has been through a lot. I feel like this person is like tired, exhausted is what I'm getting. Um, tell me more about this Nine of Wands. more about this knight of wands please five of cups yeah this person is feeling regretful sad dejected also there's a fear of rejection almost like i, I need to protect myself but why tell me more about this nine of wands and five of cups tell me more please for gemini oh wow three cards i thought it was just one we got three of swords death and lovers so this is very clear to me i feel like someone is transforming this pain it's like they're going through an ending of some sort and but it's transformative it's going to bring them you the lovers there you are could be dealing very with a scorpio or someone with scorpio on their chart but it doesn't have to be it's more like this person is putting an end to this pain and going after their love. I will leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I read all of your comments. If this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments what this is all about. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.